Happy Saturday. Out running errands. About to pick up some supplies for a project that I'm about to work on. I'll show you guys what I'm working on in a second. This is a progress video for my camper adventure van. If you want a Quigley Sports Mobile van and you just can't afford one, here's the blue collar version right here. 6 inch Welltech lift kit. This is probably the ugliest van that Welltech has ever worked on. I was hoping for a shout out on their channel. I even made this right here. And I put it on my plate and I told the sales lady, if you guys decide to film my van, could you, could you film this so it gives my channel a shout out? I made a shout out plate. But I think my van was too ugly to be featured on their uh, YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and uh, do a walk around of how it's doing. I'm pretty sure I'm the only guy with the lifted van that's running stock tires and rims. I'm sure most people get tires and rims the day they get their lift kit. All my money went to my lift kit. So these are stock tires, 245, 75, 16, stock rims. I just painted them black, put a chrome trim ring, and put chrome lug nuts. That's it. Stock steelies. I'm on a chrome on black theme and it goes pretty much all the way around the van. See? Chrome on black, chrome on black. Uh, what did that cost me? I think this cost me a hundred dollars to do versus getting, getting new rims. Six inch lift kit, that cost a lot of money four thousand four hundred dollars but I really like the lifted Quigley van look so I had to go with it well tech they work on some really nice vans and like I said my van is probably too ugly for them to feature let's take a look at the front this light bar was from off-road warehouse I believe I paid 170 for it like six or seven years ago this came from my last van build transferred it onto this new van so that's it the lights that's twenty dollars from eBay LEDs they actually work really well I do like how this van has metal bumpers it comes from an era where vehicles still had metal bumpers so that's the front if you if you want a really spruced up front well tech has some nineteen hundred dollar bumpers they're really nice but nineteen hundred dollars you know, that's a lot for some bumpers. ARB awning. Most people that run awnings on their van get the 8 foot one. I'm on a budget. I would like the 8 foot one, but this is good enough for me. Long enough to cover the sliding door keeping everything as cheap as possible because the lift kit was the expensive one. That was the expensive mod. High lift is from my last van and to mount it all I did was get some aftermarket Jeep Wrangler hood mounts for like $25 and it works. Ladder from my last van again black on chrome theme I do like how this is a steel bumper and this is going to be my project. So when I go out on my trips, you run out of space fast. So this is my storage box. So that's another expensive thing. There's a uh, custom bumpers for Econolines with the storage box. They're like, I want to say two or three grand. So you figure. You add a $2,000 bumper there, a $2,000 bumper here, that's four grand for bumpers. So uh, that's what I meant by uh, this is the ugliest van in Welltech history because the vans they work on, they have the premium bumpers, they got, you know, brand new rims and tires. Yeah, this is the blue collar version, but I actually do go out on adventures as much as I can. So here's the plan. I did this because I wanted extra storage and I can't afford the Illumina's storage locker. 
but this sticks out way too much. The reason it sticks out way too much is I added this uh, extender, but you know I wanted to be able to open my door. So I was bored one day looking at Harbor Freight's website, and they sell a bumper hitch mount. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hitch mount right here, and then relocate this right here without the extension. I won't be able to open this door anymore but I'll be able to open that one and that's fine but I'll relocate this here to here and I won't use the extension so this will come in instead of being way out here it'll come out maybe like right here so yeah a lot a lot shorter so that's what I'm doing today I'm gonna put another hitch mount right here just for this storage box you know, like I said uh, it's nice to have extra storage you run out of storage real quick when you're on road trips so I could put some random things in here so that's the plan yeah last time I went out on a road trip I ran out of space it was just like really cluttered and here's the inside of the van really simple just a functional interior and here's one thing I did I had these two storage bins side by side but instead I put the other one behind it so now I have this big gap here to put my bags under because when I was going on my road trips when I was going on my road trips I was putting my bags like on that back bench seat or I would throw it on the bed or throw it on my cooler now I have space under the bed to put my bags there's my cooler right there so um oh yeah this bungees here because I gotta tighten all the bolts that's the bad thing about a van build the more stuff you add the more it squeaks this bed is starting to squeak it didn't squeak initially so I'm gonna tighten it hopefully that'll take the squeaks away but yeah no I just put this bungee here and it stopped squeaking so I, I gotta tighten the bolts again so hopefully that works ordered a 12 volt freezer so I'll be able to replace this soon and I placed the bed just far enough behind the driver's seat to be able to fit a cooler so that's it everything is pretty simple on this van this is what the budget Quigley Sports Mobile looks like I would love a Quigley Sports Mobile van but this is what I could afford and I'm happy with it no complaints so yeah if you don't have a fifty thousand dollar budget just build yourself something like this you'll be happy they had this part in stock but I needed this part right here that other part was too small the hitch would have been right here so my box would have stuck out the other one the hitch would be here somewhere so my box wouldn't stick out and then you could still see my tail lights so I'm gonna have to order it the other locations like 30 minutes away I would have ordered it online but Harbor Freight doesn't give away 15% off coupons anymore in car magazines so yeah so that's what it's for since I can't afford the Illuminas bumper I'm gonna put my box bring it and bring it all the way over and then not use this extension because yeah it sticks out way too much I'm about to go to the store right now to get some ice cream can't wait until I get my 12 volt freezer fridge combo so I could have ice cream on the road ice cream anytime I want so how much does the budget camper van with the Quigley looks cost sixty seven hundred dollars for the van I bought it last year it had a hundred four thousand miles it's a 99 with the v10 the lift kit that was the expensive mod forty four hundred dollars so let's round up to seven grand seven grand and round down to four grand easy math that's eleven thousand dollars 
The Welltech lift kit advertises six inches of lift. I got 5.5 before and after when I measured the wheel gap. My last van had the action van suspension. They advertised five inches of lift. I actually got four. 1.5 inches more, $1,600 extra. Four inches of lift will give you that Quigley van look. So if I had went with the action van instead of the Welltech and saved $1,600, this would be a $10,000 bill, just under $10,000. But let's go ahead and look at the miscellaneous stuff. Uh, bumper light bar, that's from my last van. Rooftop solar, that's from my last van. Here, this is, this is new right here. 170 I believe I paid for the ARB awning. 170 for the futon sofa bed. I think I paid $20 for the underbed storage, $20 for that um, cooler. 12 volt freezer fridge on the way, I paid $300 for that. So, miscellaneous stuff. This TV and wall mount, that's from my last van. These sunshades, I bought like three sets, $10 a set. So, let's just go ahead and add $1,000 for the miscellaneous stuff. That puts me at twelve grand. If I got the action van suspension lift minus sixteen hundred dollars, so I would be at ten five. The last expense, the last big one for me is going to be the rear locker. Eaton e lockers, eleven hundred dollars, probably another thousand dollars for the install. So that would put me. That's another two grand. That would put me at fourteen thousand dollars overall for this van if I go Eaton e locker, Detroit True Track locker. They cost 600. I want to say install is going to be a thousand. I'm just rounding up, so I'd be at 13.5. I really want to go Eaton E Locker though. So at the end of this project, it's probably going to be about 14 grand. And 14,000 is a lot cheaper than those $50,000 camper van builds. Even more. If you got a true Quigley, yeah, it's 50 easy. If you got a really nice two-wheel drive lifted build, you're still looking at 30 for a really good one. Like if you have the premium bumpers, if you have locker, if you have the premium rims and tires. So this is probably the most budget camper van with the Quigley look that you're ever going to see.